Hello, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Laura Kelso, Associate Real Estate Broker with Nextone Champions and creator of the Grand Rapids Savvy Senior Learning Series. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the idea of putting first things first, specifically the idea of moving to your next smaller home, condo, or senior community prior to selling your current home. Now, for many of you, that might sound really backwards. Most of you have never heard of that concept, and even a lot of real estate agents would not recommend that to people. For those of us who are trained as certified senior housing professionals, this is a strategy that we use all the time to help lessen many of the challenges that are associated with a downsizing move. Our mantra has always been that downsizing should leave you overjoyed and not overwhelmed. This can be really challenging if you're trying to live in your home while it's being marketed on the open market. Not only do you have anywhere from a few to dozens of people parading through your home and opening every drawer, you must be able to be out of your home, including any pets, at the drop of a hat. Not to mention the fact that it better look like a Better Homes and Gardens photo shoot to give the best impression. Who lives like that? I know I don't. With a husband, three grown children, and two cats, our home is a revolving door of chaos, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Most of us have homes that are like that, and the fact is our homes are sacred, and the things that bring us the most joy in our homes are often also the ones that make the biggest messes. So what does that mean for someone when, you're, when it comes time to sell your home? I know my home would not be showing ready if I were listed in the near future. Most sellers I talk with have the desire to sell their homes quickly and for the largest amount of money. Sounds pretty obvious, right? The important thing to remember is that this doesn't happen by accident. Best practices in real estate suggest that your home be extremely clean, fully decluttered, and even somewhat depersonalized to get that result. The idea behind this is that potential buyers are gonna walk through your home and picture themselves with their favorite items there. This can be really hard to do if your home is filled with treasured heirlooms and even those beautiful family photos. I strongly recommend that my sellers enjoy every moment of their final days, weeks, and months in their home before they list it. Once they've had the opportunity to do that, I recommend that they bless and release their home to a trusted professional that will do their job to help that client meet their goals. The rationale for moving first and dealing with all aspects of the current home after you're safely settled in your new home really accomplishes two things. First, it gives us time to deal with the stuff. If you've lived in your home for any amount of time, and especially many years, you've likely accumulated a lot of stuff. It can often feel like your stuff is literally multiplying when you get to the point of moving and having to empty out every single drawer and closet in the entire house. The second part of this is dealing with the emotions associated with moving from a longtime residence. Beyond the logistical challenges, many homeowners face the task of letting go of decades of treasured possessions. It's really easy to underestimate the emotional effort it takes to make these decisions. Even the sellers I have that are physically healthy and mentally strong often feel exhausted at the end of this process. You may even be struggling with the additional burden of leaving the home where you raise children that are now across the country or a spouse who has now passed on. In a future video, I'm gonna be addressing all of the specific steps of the Downsizing Made Easy method that I incorporate with all my clients. It's basically a step-by-step -step process that will help you keep your sanity and your sense of humor during a downsizing move. For now, just keep in mind that a downsizing move is likely not gonna be like your previous moves. It's got lots of additional challenges, and I encourage you to learn more about the process and work with a trusted professional who specializes in downsizing when you get to that point. In the meantime, 
check out GR Savvy Seniors on YouTube and also grsavvyseniors.com for the learning series, senior resources, and much more. Thanks for listening.